Matcha, Basa. We are back at it again with another vlog. So, for today, Matcha, Basa, wala nang patumpik tumpik pa. Castle Shock has produced the episode 3. Wag na muna natin gawin yung episode 0. Episode 3 na muna tayo agad-agad. Gawin na natin tong episode 3 ng documentary ni Castle Shock about SB19. Kasi, uh, alam ko medyo natagalan na pag-produce ko ng part 2. So, bilisan na natin tong part 3. Nakakahiya naman. Tagal, tagal ba pa nagawa? So, bago pa may may lumabas na naman kung ano tungkol sa boys natin, gawin na natin to kasi talagang lagi ako napakuhulihan. But it's okay. Let's do things calmly and we will do it eventually. <laughs> Pagbigyan nyo na ako. Kaya naman, huwag na natin patagalin to. Hindi na ako dadakdak ng sobrang daming dakdak. Ang sinasabi ko lang sa inyo, kung sa tatlong video na ipinaradose ko, ganito pa rin ang suot ko, ibig sabihin isang araw ko lang ibinidyo yun. <laughs> So, wag na kayong magsabi na ako, ano, kasi natamad na ko ako magpalit. Isahan na lang na to. Isang, isang upuan na lang ho ito. Isang upuan na lang ang ho, are ha? Huwag nang mareklamo at tayo, wala na ho tayong pampalit ng dami. Charot! So, wag na natin patagalan pa to, mga chalbasa. Let us start this. Would you believe me if I said that SB19 would be successful if I met him three years ago? You'd probably think I'm cheating because I'm talking from the present. And your past self would never believe me because I might have only <laughs> seen it as a trying hard boy group who had to wear the same clothes over and over and over and over again. Because oh, it couldn't afford a nice variety. But what if despite all this, they already knew what's gonna happen? Ito mga to, sigurado ako in the future, magiging successful kami. They knew their destiny. Pablo's username reads, I'm Seasmite. A random fan asked, Why? He answered, It also means seismic. Oh, like okay, Earth's yeah. vibrations. It's something big and important. So when I seize the mic, I create this impact. Like an earthquake. And when it's I true though. Once he gets the mic, sobrang ano niya, you will have to focus on him. Kasi, ang ganda ng lalabas sa pungangan niya happens you know what's next after that are you sure you don't know do you actually want me to spell it out to you okay let me show you very very for someone who before couldn't afford to change their clothes now grabe ha yung mga clothes nila sobrang fashionable na and stuff like that Tapos si Ken may own clothing line na. Oh, the boss sa paray. Oh, so this time it's called The Wave. Yeah, that's Pablo. If you're new here, you're probably wondering how he ended up there. This is called Triple. Get the zone, but... Finally, they were starting to go up. They were very young. This was the time when they were still trying to figure out their musical identity. Enter the Get In The Zone album. Just check out the level of variety. Definitely a mix of everything. Yeah, it's a, the genres the immediately saw the genres of the music is actually all mixed up. This as a weakness. They were seen as a group who didn't know what they were doing. Just no doubt, wait lang, wait lang, balik balik eh, balik lang, wait lang. A mix of everything. The bashers immediately. Ha ha ha! Feeling K-pop to mga to. Di bagay sa inyo mga wala kayo. Kapopan nila Pilipinas. 
Okay. Saw this as a weakness. They were seen as a Kung talagang proud pa na sila, bahag yung isuot nila. Magsisikat talaga sila kahit bahag lang suot sisikat sila. Yun talaga, wala silang ginaya. Yun ang tinatawag. Wait! Wait, 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 wait! So, nung ang mga suot nila, yung una na hindi nagpapalit, magagalit pa din kayo. Yung mga suot nila, ganito na ang ayos na ng mga damit, magagalit pa din kayo. Pag yan, nagbahat, sabihin nyo, ah, kasi ginagamit lang nila yan for publicity kasi sinasabi nila na ganyan yan. Hindi mo kayang gawin contento lahat ng tao, but at the same time, sana isipin mo rin muna bago ka magsulat ng isang comment sa isang tao. Oh, triggered ka ka. Who didn't know what they were doing. Despite all the hate, a team didn't get affected as they started to get to know the boys on a deeper level. We get to know their fun side. Sige naman po, nung namin ko ito dati sa cover group, parang sabi ko, hindi ko mayabang to, parang gano'n po, mayabang to, tas ako, oh, tumbling-tumbling ka pa dyan, tumbling-tumbling pa to, ako. Oh, just methods, teh. Parang lagi siyang may sarili mundo, hindi po siya bilong sa amin. Tira na siya ng teacher namin, sa tingin mo, sino yung pinakamagaling sumayaw? Ako! Ako! Me! Ako! Humble lang siya, nagsasabi lang siya ng totoo. Parang,si JK,kasi,ganun,ne,pag,nahita,mo,sobrang,cute,na,face,parang,walang,pag,basa,ganun,nahita,ko,si,ken,walang,yo,walang,na,finish,na,no,nakala,nalaman,actually,
malam syuhat tu, malam malam ini tu. And just like that, SB19 got us into their zone. So back to the album. As unique as each of the songs was, all seven of them managed to reach the number oh, one spot on Billboard's no Lyric Fine Global chart. It's still insane thinking about it today. And they weren't done. They also appeared in Billboard's top yeah, social yeah, 50, so peaking at number three. Or so they thought. And aside from that, eto nagbabasa rin ako ng mga comments naman sa ating comment section. Kasi di ba yung last na pinost ninyo is number 3 kayo sa Billboard Social 50. Pero ngayon, number 2 na kayo, guys! Oh! So, to, so, dito so, ba siya ang katapon din? We wanted to comment dito. And number 6 na kayo, number 7. I'm having goosebumps! Oh my god! Congratulations! Congratulations! Oh, They couldn't believe it. Stel ended up forgetting that he was in a live interview because he had to check it himself. <laughs> yep, it's real. September 1st, 2020, a well-known artist cancelled an Instagram live interview with MTV scheduled for the next day. So MTV host Kevin Kinney invited SB19 on a short notice to fill in. An opportunity knocked, they answered. Oh my god. Who wants to go first? Uh, uh, for me, I would like to collaborate with Mr. Bruno Mars. Two weeks later, Kevin made a bold prediction. We asked a lot of people for interview. A lot of people that you want us to interview, we take it very seriously, we reach out. Some people, you'd be amazed, don't have the time today, can't find the time, can't do it. Oh, you know, that's tough. Okay, no harm, no foul. Then there's the people that are like, name the time, name the You just have to grab every SB19 opportunity. Did it. This is how you can see how persevering they are to arrive to the top. Because when an opportunity comes, they, they, they immediately grab it. Just like what happened to the Dubai Expo. Even though it was the last moment ano, uh, performance, they still grab it. Because when you are in Wag mo nang uurongan, yun yun! At 9 p.m., they've never done an Instagram Live before. They didn't know if they could be together. They made it a point to not only be together, but be together at 9 p.m. because they knew that was the only time that it worked for them. That is why these boys are worth this time. Whatever happens, you have to be with them because they're doing their best for their fellow Filipinos. What you can do is just to support them and be there with them. This U.S. based host, that type of work ethic is going to take them very far in the music industry. I'm also very good at predicting music, okay? What? Right? I'm like the MTV very push host. The same way that MTV knows how to pick winners, I know how to pick winners. I said on this very app, SB19 are going to be big stars. I said it on my IG Live. I've said it to you in private, Caitlin. I've said it to Banjo, you know, he didn't say anything back. SB19 are going to be big stars. They have charismatic, they're, they're hardworking. Today's date is September 18th, 2020, what I'm saying is, okay? I want somebody to post this on September 18th, 2021, and you can see how right I am because of how much larger and more well-known SB19 will be year from this date right here. And when 2021 started, he reminded people about what's to come. Four years into my career, I've seen some people come and go, and I've seen some journeys, and you can spot things, right? You can notice trends, you can notice similarities. SB19 right now, and the lock that 18 has on the voting, Hmm. Actually, AT is becoming uh, is becoming very prominent as a fan group also. Kaya siguro nagka-clash sila with the ARMY and 18 because given the fact that 18 is already becoming a prominent fan fandom, just that's why maybe they are clashing with ARMY. Kasi sobrang grabe yung mga ARMY sa pagmamahal nila with BTS. And it's like 18 are mirroring the same affection of what we have with BTS. So, kung ano yung pagmamahal na ibinibigay namin sa kanila, yun yung pinagmamahal na pinagbibigay nila ng 18 sa SB19. 
kaya medyo nagka-clash yung dalawa. But people just have to open their minds na pareho lang tayong sobrang mahal natin yung mga idols natin and we will support them. Just have to transmit love to each other. Kasi we just have to open other people's eyes kung bakit natin gusto tong group na to, bakit natin gusto yung group na yun, and just find similarities na makakapag-make peace between two fandoms, di ba? Tara yun, ganda ng train of thought mo ngayon, girl, ha? Bakit? Alam mong bakit? Kumain ako ng curly fries at saka ng ng Sprite. Eh, ang tagal-tagal ko lang hindi nakakain ng curly fries. Kasi sa McDo, walang curly fries. Tagal na nilang tinanggal. Eh, saktong pagdaan ko. Burger King kanina. May, cur may curly fries. Kaya tawang tuwa ako. Alam mo ba? Magugasan ako ng sasakyan. Tapos yun, napakain ako ng curly fries imbis na magugasan. <laughs> so, mabalik tayo. Let's go back. So, what was going on with BTS 2017-2018? And I hope that the United States is nice. I'm rooting for them. These guys are awesome guys. They're hard working guys. I interviewed them after like incredibly 10 hour plus work days of rehearsal and choreography practice. And they still put a smile on their face. And they're incredibly hard working. And that's really the, aside from music being good, it's the work ethic that's been taking the top. So my prediction is they're going to bring. Work ethic of what BTS has been doing in these past years. That's why alam kong mataas din yung malalating nila because they are as humble as BTS. They are as good as BTS. So I know na may patutunguhan to. May patutunguhan sila. Hindi pwedeng hindi. Here. So take that for what it's worth, ATN. Then what happened? Tala! Aray! Matangwandera! Kevin's prediction came true. A-T-S-D. Congratulations! This song was on the next level. It showcased Pablo's songwriting skills. Ken's dance moves and unique sound. Still's heavenly voice and choreography. The most iconic rap verse in all of P-pop by Josh. Spotify, yun ay shuffle lang ako sa kanta. Hindi po pwedeng pagka-part na niya, hindi ka pwedeng hindi yan. Bente-bente, paulit-ulit. Tawa ng tawa si Chops pag nasasakyan ka eh. Kasi kahit nasa, nag-uusap ka eh, pag dumating na yung verse na yun, rayan na. Kailangan ko siyang sabayan. And Justin's brilliant mind which created a spectacle no one has ever seen in the country. What? It became the fastest peep up music video to reach 1 million views in just 16 hours. SB19 sent shockwaves that reminded people of what they are capable of. Primero na kong natangkaw na ko ang lang music video nga what? Na na encourage ko. The world got inspired so it responded with a giant wave of appreciation. Gusto ko rin ipagwalak yung SB19. SB19. Yung last video nila, yung what? Uy, maganda yun. Ang ganda ng video, diba? Sa pagaling, sabi. Grabe. I think, dun mo rin naman makikita na hindi mo pwedeng, hindi mo pwedeng pulaan ng isang tao na nag-prepare, na nag-prepare, na nag-prepare. The fact na daming doubters, yun yung maganda pag-documentary, nakita mo yung simula eh. The fact na daming doubters, they come to a point ang dami ng tao na nakaka-appreciate. Yung mga tao, sobrang dami ng hate na sinabi sa kanila na doon sa interview na yun. Tapos dadating ka sa point na to na they are being recognized and they are being flexed by most Filipino people. Sobrang sarap nung sa pahiramdam, lalo na siguro sa kanila. Ang isa makakita siya ng opportunity para gamitin yung preparation niya. Walang pinagkaiba yan kay Manny Pacquiao eh. Wala ka kasi talagang dapat, wala ka kasi talagang dapat masabi pa sa isang taong pinaghandaan at handang-handang lumaban para lang sa mga pangarap nila. Na nag-train, na nag-train, na nag-train, na nag-train, na sobrang galing. Pagpasok niya ng ring, knockout yung kalaban. Walang galing difference. Galing mo ay, na nakakain ka lang ng curly face, galing mo mag-army ngayon. Ha? Dapat ganito ako araw-araw, no? Lalo ko na-appreciate ang isang artist na alam kong pwedeng magyabang pero hindi nagyayabang. This was also the time when I found them. Their music made a difference in my life. 
So, fun na talaga si Kuya, si Casual Chuck nung una pa lang. But, just like me, he just, ano, he just, yung parang naanulahan niya lang nagawa yung reaction video. Tapos doon, nagtuloy-tuloy na siya maging fanboy na. It gave people happiness. Their music inspired us to become a better version of ourselves despite our imperfections. SB19 taught us not to only raise our own flag, but to wave it proudly. Tapos na. Hindi ko na siya masyado yung play kasi umayang mga copyright na naman ako. What can I say about this documentary? Sir Castle Chalk, sobra. Ang galing mo talaga. Ibang klase. In, sana mapapasana all ka na lang. You are like the epitome of one of the best reactors now on YouTube. So, for me ha, it's really nice to see this documentary. Kasi talaga makikita mo from bottom to the top, nandiyan na. Yung kung paano nila unti-unting narating ang, ano, ang mga pangarap nila. At hindi pa tayo nagtatapos dito. Nasa simula pa lang tayo. That's, that's what, that's why I am so happy. I am so happy for the work, for the boys. I am so happy for the boys kasi, Sa dami ng pinagdaanan nila. This, you can use this as a life lesson also. So, sa kahit sobrang daming pagdaanan niyo, pag dumating yung time, inilaan niyo pa pagad para, para sa'yo. Sobrang daming blessings ang bubuhaw sa buhay mo. Na kahit gaano karaming paghihirap, gaano karaming struggles ang ibigay niya sa'yo, lahat ng yun may magandang kapalit. Lahat ng pula na ibinigay sa kanila ng kapwa Pilipino nila, Ngayon naman, ang ibinigay na sa kanila ay puro puro na. Kahit na meron pa rin mga bashers, yes. Kahit na mga kapwa mo pa pinitin yan. But this is always something that you have to put in mind. It just takes one person to believe in you for you to go through every struggles. So, basta laging may team na nagsusupport sa SM. Kahit ano, malalampasan nila. Ha! <sighs> Grabe! Haba na naman po ng ating reaction video. <laughs> Hindi ko naman mo ginugusto na ganari kahaba. Eh talaga naman kung napapahaba, ayun yung gagawin natin. Yung siya. So, bila lang natapos itong ating reaction video, mga chava. So, thank you very much for watching. And as always, if you like this video, please don't hesitate to click that like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And we will see each other again, hopefully on my next vlogs or reaction videos. Bye! Stay safe and God bless mga chalbasa. Bye-bye!